Hi, today we're after the winter thrushes. It's the third week of November and the field fairs and red wings are here in good numbers and feeding on the hawthorn berries. And this is one of my favourite places to come and photograph them. It's a very quiet road, or at least it used to be, 20 years ago a very quiet road. And 20 years ago I'd have probably been the only photographer here. But these days there could be, well, in the past, couple of years maybe 20 photographers all in the same little area it's quite a well-known spot now in the Midlands for winter thrushes the light is not fantastic it was first thing but by 10 o'clock it clouded over and it was a quarter past 10 before I got the first photograph and um, but what I did notice there's a puddle on the other side of the road and the field fairs were drinking at that puddle which is a regular side when they're eating these berries they get very thirsty so they come down to drink but there's nowhere I could position the car where I was at the right distance, the right angle and able to, to photograph them. But as I was watching them, I realised they are actually drinking on the other side of this barrier too. And I can part level with this barrier and maybe I'm going to get pictures here. So I've now moved the car across. I'm in the right position. Just got to hope they come down again. I'll show you some of the footage and stills pictures I took of the birds on the berries. The sky was really too dull here. I really wanted the sun to shine. And when you're shooting against a grey background like that, you've got to overexpose. You can see the metering here has underexposed the picture. So I need to shoot at least one stop overexposed. But I really just don't like plain grey skies or white skies. I don't mind dark moody skies, but usually I want a bit of colour in the sky. So this is not the perfect situation. When the bird is against the branches, it's not quite so bad because you can't see so much of the sky. But nevertheless, the sunlight would bring out the colour. I'll just show you a couple of pictures I've taken on previous years when the sun was much brighter. It's a totally different picture. Not only did I have sun, but I had a hoarfrost as well here. The first thing that came down was a female blackbird. I've taken a few pictures and a little bit of video of that. I'm using the OM-1 camera body. I've got the 150 to 400 mil lens on. I'm zoomed to 400 mil, but I've also got the built-in 1.25 extender, which I find to be optically perfect. I can't see any difference when I put that extender in. If I put a 1.4 extender on, I've always been able to see a difference on any camera I've ever owned before, but not with the 1.25. So that gives me the equivalent of a thousand mil on a full chipped camera, which is just the right image size from here, but I haven't had a field fair yet. Shutter speeds are a bit slow, I'm down to 500th of a second and that's at 1600 ISO. That's my default setting, I very rarely go slower than 1600. And that shutter speed will do because the bird's not really doing anything other than when it actually lowers its head to drink. So as the head goes down and then back up again, the head might be a bit blurred, but that doesn't matter. Once it's head, heads up, then at 500th of a second it'll be sharp, at 5,000th of a second it'll be sharp. It really doesn't matter so much these days, unless you're doing action. These blackbird pictures were taken at 500th of a second with the lens wide open, and that shot is not quite sharp on the head, nor that one. There's a slight blur there. But once it's heads up high, the bird is now static and so 500th of a second is enough. When it went up into the branches I got a thousandth of a second. Very noticeable with the field fairs, they very rarely drank at the main body of water. They would pick a little tiny puddle in the mud. And I've noticed this with thrushes before. I don't know why they do that. Another bird, another very tiny puddle. And it's not just field fairs, the other winter visiting thrush is the red wing. It's now into the afternoon, I haven't seen a field fair or a red wing for ages. Not coming down to drink, but they're not feeding on the berries up and down the road here either. There's been a few photographers cars pulled up, but now they've all disappeared. Don't know where the thrushes have gone to, but 
Also the light has changed, it's now 90% blue sky and I don't really want the sun shining. The sun has moved round from where I was first thing in the morning. It's now coming in at about a 45 degree angle behind me. But I can't get into a position where it's directly behind me and I don't like this cross lighting. Light is the most important thing in photography and I'd much rather this was cloudy, bright, soft lighting than full sunlight. Very noticeable when the birds came in, they came in as a small group. Very rare to get just one field fair at a time. They sort of circle round as a flock feeding on the berries and then they move as a small party back to the drinking pool. I'm not totally happy with the lighting here. The front left hand side of the breast is, is in shadow because the light hasn't moved around far enough yet. It's coming a bit too much to my right. It's an hour later, the sun of course is gradually moving round so it's actually starting to light these field fares up better now and with the extra sunlight I'm getting faster shutter speeds maybe it's time to think about some flight photography and this is an ideal situation for pro capture that ability to take a picture before you press the button now I make good use of the custom settings on modern cameras C1, C2, C3, C4 all I have to do on the OM-1, the way I've got it set up, is just change the top dial to C3 and I've got all my pro capture settings in there. I don't have to go into anything and start changing things, just turn the dial to C3, I'm ready to go without having to think about anything. C2 I use for static birds, C1 I use for birds in flight, C4 I don't make a lot of use of C4, it's an experimental mode when I'm in a situation where I want to do something different I'll start to save them as C4 but on a temporary basis but C1, C2 and C3 I use all the time and it's the main thing that I change on my camera in fact there's very little else that I do ever change the bird normally took off from right to left so I placed the thrush in the bottom right hand corner of the picture and with Pro Capture it is so easy to get them in the frame and sharp so long as the bird takes the right flight path. If the bird tapers away from you, going towards the background, well actually we're still in focus, he's just at the wrong angle. Now with the sun shining and fully lighting the birds now from the front, I quite like it. And we've got the colour in the water, blue sky, blue water. It looks far more attractive and one of the few occasions the bird did come to the main body of the water instead of those tiny little puddles. The other thing you're looking for is times when the birds stand on a little hump. That separates them from the background. There were a few other species coming in to drink as well. Donok, sitting up on one of the branches. I like Donoks. It's a bird that over the years has grown on me. They've got a lot of charisma to them, a lot of character. Usually a ground dwelling bird. I also had green finches and reed bunting, but not to photograph. And goldfinches, well, almost inevitable. If you've got a puddle by the side of the road, goldfinches come down to drink. It's a quarter past two now, and you can see the shadow of the car is just starting to reach the near edge of the puddle. Another 30 minutes and it will be halfway across that puddle. And then it will be time to pack up. I can't move the car anywhere. I won't get a clear view. So the day is almost over and I've got other things I should be checking out as well. There's some bramblings not far from here. I want to go and have a look at them. It's always the dilemma. Do you stay longer or do you move on? I'm a great one for staying longer. He who stays the longest gets the shot. There you go. I got my bonus. I got a male bullfinch just came in but the light had gone. He was in the shadow and there's a big difference between a bird in shadow and a bird in bright overcast conditions which is my favourite lighting to, to be photographing in. So there was just no sparkle there. 
it's time to go but before i go home i'm just going to go and check out these bramblings thanks for watching <laughs>